Although the total number of casualties uh, in this fighting remains unknown, the number of civilians currently trapped due to the heavy fighting in and around Homs is believed to be between 2,500 and 4,000 people. Shortages of food, water, medicine, electricity and fuel in the besieged areas are severely affecting the remaining civilians, including, of course, women and children. According to information just received, the Al Khaldiya neighborhood has been experiencing heavy shelling since the early hours of this morning. Um, and the, the ta attacks in general are now affecting um, really all of the old Homs district. There is a rise in number of uh, cases of different diseases. There are, there's increase in needs, and in, at the same time, we see that there are increasing obstacles being uh, put on delivery of life-saving medical uh, is assistance. We are urging all parties to allow unconditional humanitarian access uh, and delivery of medicines, vaccines, and medical supplies to all Syrians in need of medical treatment without discrimination or geographic limitation. As long as the general situation is worsening, uh, as long as there is a less access to uh, clean water, we are really afraid that, uh, that the number of diseases can only rise. And if we are not able to provide medical assistance to already a system that is completely overstretched uh, with shortages of medicines, and not only medicines for uh, uh, injuries, but also uh, uh, medicines for chronic diseases, uh, with the less of uh, health workers being able to reach uh, already decreased number of functioning health facilities, uh, we, we really try to, 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 to voice our, uh, our call to everyone to, to, to let WHO, but also others, to, to, uh, to come in and assist those in need.